Hey everybody, it's Mr. Greg. We've been talking about measurement. And remember, measurement is how big something is, how little something is, how tall something is. When we're talking about measurement, we're talking about the size. We're trying to figure out how much something weighs or how tall something is. And the way we do that is with measurement. So today, we're going to talk about weight. We're gonna measure weight. And weight is how heavy something is. So you've probably done your weight by stepping on a scale and that shows you how much you weigh, right? Or you can put toys on a scale and it'll show you how much your toys weigh. Or when we take our dog to the vet, he gets on a scale and it tells us how much he weighs. So you can weigh lots of different things and you can weigh things with different tools. So today we're going to use a balance, all right? The cool thing about a balance is that it shows us when things are the same or equal. So the way a balance works is if you put something on the balance and it goes down, that means that this side would be heavy and this side would be light. And when you get the balance to be even, like straight like this, it means they weigh the same. So we've got a bunch of things here that I found around my house and I just ran around the house and grabbed some stuff and I've got these cubes. All right, so we've got these little cubes. They're all the same, they're just different colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how much some of these objects weigh by using our cubes. So we're gonna see how many cubes the objects weigh. So let's start with our cup. So we put the cup in, you see the balance goes down because the cup is heavy. So now what I'm gonna start doing is putting cubes in on this, oh, look at that. So we see we're getting close because now the balance is moving. So we can put another one in. So it looks like our cup weighs about three or four cubes, right? Because when we put three cubes in, we're almost even, but if we put four in, we're, we go down a little bit. So we know that our cup weighs about three or four cubes, all right? So let's take the cup out, get our balance ready. Let's see about a spoon, all right? So we, I got a spoon out of my kitchen. So I'm gonna put the spoon in here, see if we can get it to stay in there. Mm, the spoon might not stay in. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda of hold my finger there till we can start to get it to move. So I'm gonna start putting our cubes in. I don't know, the spoon's pretty heavy. It might take a lot of cubes. cubes. So there we go. So now let's count our cubes and see how much our spoon weighs. Here we go. All right. Hold it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. So the spoon weighed 20 cubes. All right. So let's try our toilet paper roll. All right. How many cubes do you think our toilet paper roll weighs? What do you think? What's your guess? All right, let's find out. We're gonna, we're gonna use our cubes to weigh the toilet paper roll. So we're gonna see how much our toilet paper roll weighs. So it looks like about four or five cubes. So our toilet paper roll is about four or five cubes. And remember, we're measuring how much our things weigh. We're using a balance to help us and we're weighing them with cubes. So we're, knowing, we're gonna know how much our objects weigh using our cubes. What about this dice? What do you think? 
the dice in. We'll see. So it looks like about one cube. So the dice weighs one cube, all right? Let's try the rock. Put a rock in. Here we go. go pretty close all right so there look so see how our balance is nice and straight so that means it's balanced so that means the rock and all these cubes weigh the same so now we can find out how much the rock weighs by counting our cubes so let's see here we go i'm going to hold this so it doesn't fly away one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So our rock weighs the same as nineteen cubes. All right, let's try. I'm gonna try a plastic egg. A plastic egg in. All right, let's see. One, two. So it looks like a plastic egg weighs about two cubes. Uh, what about? Let's try our marker. Our marker to stay. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. It looks like our marker weighs about five cubes. All right. Let's try one more. What about our glue stick? No, let's try our ink pen. All right, let's try our ink pen. All right, we've got our ink pen in. Here we go. So what do you think? What's your guess? How much do you think our ink pen weighs? How many cubes will our ink pen weigh? One, two, three. Ta-da! Looks like about three cubes. So our ink pen weighs about three cubes. So you can have fun like this at home with measurement. Even if you don't have a balance, what you can do is you can take two thing, two objects and put them in your hand. And you can think, oh, the rock weighs more than the marker, right? And so you could do the spoon and the fork. Hmm. Oh, the spoon feels heavier. So that's one way that you can do it at your house. All right, so my challenge is for you is when you're going around your house, pick up two things and see which one is heavier, which one is lighter, all right? And if you have a scale at home, maybe in your bathroom, you can put things on your scale to see how much they weigh. For more fun ideas and resources, be sure to visit our website at thekindergartensmorgasbord.com and you can find us on social media by searching for Kindergarten Smorgasbord. Bye everybody.